Good morning. Today is Tuesday, September 20th, 2022. It is 8.30 a.m. It is my pleasure and honor to call to order the Finance and Physical Resources Committee meeting this morning. I'd like to welcome fellow commissioners, staff, and any guests we have today and those watching on video. Thank you so much for taking an interest in your local government. With that, I will open up to public comment. Is there any public that would like to address the Finance and Physical Resources Committee? If so, please state your name, your address, and you have three minutes. I'm Scott Smith. I'm the Wyoming City Attorney, and I'm just here to answer questions on item number four if you have them. Okay, thank you. Any other public comment? All right, seeing none, we will close public comment. We will go to the consent agenda. Is there a motion to approve the consent agenda? Motion. Support. Moved by Commissioner Sparks and boarded by Commissioner Wooden. Questions, comments, or anything that has to be pulled? Seeing none, all those in favor of passing the consent agenda, please say yes. 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 All those opposed, say no. That motion passes. That brings us to item number three from the Administrator's Office. Al? Action requested. Recommend to the Board of Commissioners to authorize a winter 2022, that's December 1, 2022, County Corrections and Detention Millage Levy, Senior Services Millage Levy, Veteran Services Millage Levy, Zoo slash Museum Millage Levy, and Ready by Five Millage Levy. The County Administrator Controller is preparing a recommended budget for fiscal year 2023. Included in the proposed budget will be programming and appropriations necessary to support operation and debt service requirements for the County Corrections and Detention Facilities, Senior Services Programming, Veteran Services Programming, Zoo and Museum Operations, and Ready by Five Programming. On August 2, 2022, County Electors authorized dedicated property millages in support of Senior Services and Veteran Services in August 2008, November 2016, and November 2018, county electors authorized dedicated property tax millages in support of county corrections, detention facilities, zoo and museum operations, and ready by five programming, respectively. The resolution will authorize a levy of 1.9661 mills, which includes 0.7546 mills for operating and debt service requirements for county corrections and detention. 0 0.5000 mills for senior services, 0 0.0500 mills for veteran services, 0 0.4206 mills for zoo and museum operations, and 0 0.2409 for ready by five programming. Funds derived from the levy of these millages will be utilized to support these services in the fiscal year 2023 county budget. Thank you. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. moved by Commissioner Antor, support by Commissioner Sparks. Questions, comments, and discussion on this? Commissioner Bokowski. Um, thank you, Chair. Um, the question is, um, who, who has the, the math in the sense of, like, the two renewed millages are nice round numbers, but the other ones will continue to shrink as, at least as long as inflation and, and such moves in that direction so because of Headley and Prop A so to to see that over time how the millage rate shrinks we watch that in our general you know like taxable value versus assessed value and what's that percentage but how that impacts these other millages so and, maybe and a that, are you asking like for a chart that shows by year uh, hopefully the millage it exists and yeah. how it's impacted by yes Headley and proposal A. a. yeah and like these are going to shrink over time. I mean, this senior, this will probably be the only year senior millage will be 0.5 mills. I think I saw Marvin's head nod, so I'm guessing we have that available. Yeah. So it's, yeah, I, I hope it would be since you get to these numbers through a math problem. Come on up, just Marvin. Sharing, just showing your work, as Sister Robert Ann used to say. Morning. We do have that information. Um, we'll probably see that in our next budget presentation slide. A slide on that. All right. Good. Um, the cumulative loss um, is 0.2125 mills since 2016, which equates to approximately six million dollars across all millages. And this most recent amendment is about two million dollars you know, reduction in tax revenue. Um, net of the $500,000 increase we're getting from the increased millages for the senior and veterans millages. 
All right. And I'm hearing that because inflation rates are so high right now, that we're not likely, as likely to see a rollback this upcoming year. So, okay. time will tell. All right, thank you. Okay, anyone else? All right, seeing none, all those in favor, please say yes. 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 Opposed, say no. That motion passes. That brings us to item number four from the administrator's office, Al. Yes, uh, recommend to the Board of Commissioners to approve the transfer of surplus real property to the City of Wyoming. In 1966, the county redeveloped the property that had been the Kent County Airport following the airport's move to its current location. As part of that development, Roger B. Chafee Drive was constructed, including grassy median strips. The median strips are the only property still owned by the county. The City of Wyoming is willing to take title to the median strips and maintain them for the benefit of the city and the adjacent owners. The county has no need to continue ownership of the median strips and the transfer of the strips to the city will not affect the public's access to the area. The strips historically have been maintained by a property owners association into which the county paid approximately $5,000 per year for that maintenance. Administration recommends paying the city the sum of $10,000 to cover maintenance costs as the city takes over ownership, so a couple years worth of the $5,000. Corporate Council has reviewed and approved the quit claim deed as to form. Thank you. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. In support. All right. We have moved by Commissioner Bukowski, support by Commissioner Sparks. We'll take questions, comments, and discussion. We'll start with Commissioner Antor. Thank you, Chair. So after a couple of years, our financial obligation goes away. Yeah. We're done. Yes. Okay. Anyone else with questions? Yes, Commissioner Bukowski. Well, just to follow up on that, I mean, it, it, to put that in there that this is a one-time payment, I mean, I hear you saying that. It doesn't say that in writing. I mean, I, I would assume the quit claim deed states that, just mm -hmm. that we're clear. That will be recited in the quit claim deed, yes. Okay, anyone else? All right, seeing none, all those in favor, please say yes. Yes. All those opposed, please say no. That motion passes. That brings us to Commissioner Miscellaneous. Is there any Commissioner Miscellaneous this morning? Commissioner Antor? My blue light's supposed to be on all the time now. Only when you speak. I can't turn it off. Uh, we'll talk to Al after the meeting. <laughs> I thought maybe we had a new system. We got all new infrastructure now. You don't need to talk to Al after the meeting. I'm all set with that. Thank okay. you. Sorry. Well, that's okay. I was just most, to talk to I was mostly messing with you, Al. <laughs> Go ahead, Tom. Did you have miscellaneous? That's, that was it. Okay. Anyone else? All right. Seeing none, we are adjourned. Our next meeting is Tuesday, October 4th at 830.